completing the test in Sepang at the beginning of 2014, the Suzuki MotoGP team resumed tests once again with a positive feel. In this test report, we will look at the status of the team from the viewpoint of the riders, who are central to the development of the new prototype. Since Malaysia, we use Magneti Marelli. It was a big, big change. And uh, it's like we restart from zero in Malaysia. And uh, the last day of testing was much, much better. The guys did a very uh, great job. And uh, I think we are on a, on a good way. The stage is set for the next test at the Circuit of the Americas, located in Austin, Texas, USA. The biggest theme for this test is to continue to build up the potential of the machine. But another important mission is collecting data for next season from this circuit, which the Suzuki team has no experience in. Yeah, it's very technical track, you know, many corners in second, first gear. If you miss one corner, you miss the next one. It's very technical and uh, it's good to be here because it's one more track. It's a new track for Suzuki, but they never because they never test here, never race here. And uh, it's good because I know the track and I hope to do a great job uh, during these two days, this today, and to arrive at the good uh, level at the end of the, of the test. Difficult. You need to tell at somebody this, but I think uh, I can feel the problem on the bike or the good thing very quick. I don't need many laps to to feel something. I can be if I feel good. I can be faster in a few laps. I don't need many laps, and that's it. Uh, and the worst point, uh, maybe I need to be faster. Everybody want to be to be faster consistent but this year my job is to understand well the bike to improve the bike and sure to be fast but the main target is to to improve the bike rider Nobuatsu Aoki from Japan also accompanied the team Unlike Randy Depunier, who plays a central role in circuit tests, Aoki's main mission is the comparison of the machines at both the Ruryo R&D Center and at GP circuits. We asked Aoki about the current development issues. Mainly, very bottom throttle connection, like below 50% throttle. And yeah, when we are Testing Rio is a yeah, small problem because in Rio we have a lot of grip on the on the surface, but in low mu circuit actually uh, spin a lot. So the engineer spent to make the good software with the, uh, that area mainly. I think we get big, big, big improvement because the uh, software getting uh, matured. I mean, combating from Mitsubishi and the uh, Marelli system, you know. Um, yeah, now we are in Austin and I'm really optimistic to, to have the new software. Also at Austin, the team welcomed a special guest to test ride the prototype machine. Former 500cc champion, Kevin Schwanz. Under the cooperation of US Yoshimura, Schwanz has been testing the GSXR for the Suzuka 8 Hours Endurance Road Race. If Schwanz is test riding, he's not just taking it for a spin, it's all serious. The team changed the settings and the gearbox from De Punier's specs to suit Schwanz. The living legend shows off his riding, reminding us that he still has what it takes.
It did nothing wrong. Really? Mm, except I put it in the wrong places. Okay. But I mean, it feels unbelievable. Engine brake and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm on. never even thinking about backing in. Yeah. Nothing. And it pulls back enough? Yeah. Oh. I'm probably not even experiencing half the brakes. Okay. You, just, you go in, you go, oh, shit, rum. <laughs> try again, try again. The engineers listen attentively to the comments of Schwanz. The team fine tunes the settings, and Schwanz is back out on the track again. It seems the legend has fully enjoyed the potential of Suzuki's prototype machine. To get to ride the 2015 Suzuki MotoGP bike was a was an honor. It was a treat to me. It was a, it's an amazing motorcycle. I really enjoy riding it. I wish I could ride it more, but I need to work on my GSXR a little bit more. Meanwhile, the tests by the development riders are proceeding smoothly. Depunier does many laps, collecting data of the circuit, which is new to the team. Many items on the test menu were conducted, including ECU setting and gear ratio selection. So, who will pilot this machine next season? That is a question that is not determined yet, but Depunier is no doubt one of the leading candidates. As we end this test report, we asked Depunier, who is currently Suzuki's main development rider, to describe the bike he is helping to develop. Uh, this bike is the, v, uh, is the online uh, engine, 1000cc. It's very, very compact, you know, the bike for MotoGP. The people think the MotoGP bike are big, but this one, uh, she's very small. It's perfect for my, for my size. And that's it for me, the best bike in the world because it's the prototype and you have the best suspension, the best brake, the, the small pieces is very nice, carbon fiber and uh, it's, uh, I think it's the dream of uh, all the riders to, to ride a factory bike and I'm really happy to, to ride this, uh, this bike and uh, I really hope this bike will be very fast and uh, will be on the podium and win some uh, GP as soon as possible. Suzuki, way of life.